Right now, we want to give you another live look at from uh, Sky 2. This is a Black Lives Matter protest near downtown. This is the uh, area of Capitol Street in LaBranch, right at the intersection. And uh, about five, almost ten minutes ago, we did see a brief scuffle that appeared to take place between some police officers and uh, members of the crowd who were protesting. There was a, an individual, a young male, who was taken into custody by police officers. But things appear to have calmed down for the most part. Uh, there was a larger protest that began a few hours ago that marked from Discovery Green to City Hall. And from there, it appears that the large group sort of splintered into a couple of different groups. This is one of the locations they are at. Relatively speaking, though, other than vocally, this has been uh, figured to be a, a fairly quiet uh, protest, if you will. Our Hannah McKenzie, she's nearby, and she's uh, at City Hall right now on the ground. Uh, and Hannah, uh, go ahead and tell us what you're seeing there where you are. Yeah, so things out here got very disorganized very quickly. This event was supposed to wrap up at 4, and if you take a look behind me, you can still see large crowds gathered in front of City Hall. A huge police presence out here. You can see some of these officers, you know, fully clad in their riot gear. And as you said earlier, you know, there's been a couple scuffles out here. The protest mostly peaceful, but it did get a little hairy at times. Hundreds, if not thousands, marching on Houston City Hall Friday, protesting the death of George Floyd. George Floyd! George Floyd! Many chanting and toting signs, fighting to have their voice heard. It's important that we come out here to let police know that we're no longer taking, taking this, this racism. Even the smallest of voices making a big impact. This is my grandson. His name is Kingston Warren. Kingston, how old is Kingston? Kingston is three. Three years old. Yes. He's probably the youngest protester out here today. Oh, uh, yes. Well, he's definitely going down in history. The area heavily patrolled by law enforcement, a few officers watching from above. The sign says justice for George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. Some protesters advocating not just for the Floyd family, but social injustice. I'm tired of seeing black men being killed, black women being killed. Enough is enough. I'm afraid to be black. I'm afraid to live. I don't want to live. Be my true self. The mostly peaceful protest taking a turn when this person showed up with a rifle. He got the legal right to be out here. A crowd follows as officers escort the masked person off City Hall property. Minutes later, protesters can be seen running away from what appears to be a cloud of tear gas. Things obviously still very active here right now. Officers are doing an amazing job kind of keeping the peace and stopping those scuffles from starting really before they spiral out of control. And if you take a look behind me, you can still hear kind of folks uh, with the megaphone. So they're definitely still continuing this protest. We're not sure how much longer this is going to last. Again, the initial event was supposed to wrap up at four. And after it ended here at City Hall, the group seemed to have kind of broken off into smaller groups. And that's when things got a little um, you know, hairy to say the least, but officers have then kind of cordoned everyone back into this area, and that's where the group seems to be continuing their protest right now. But of course, we will keep you updated on this developing story. Reporting live from outside City Hall, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC. Back to you guys.